What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Skull Shark 360 here, back with another banger, man. Today I got a special video for y'all. I'm gonna be ranking the top five strongest PvP dinosaurs in Land of Lizards 2. Now, the criteria I'm gonna be going by for this top five is I'm gonna be looking for the overall strongest dinos, the ones that don't have many weaknesses and a lot of strengths and are nearly unstoppable. And these dinos are great for big fights, 1v1s, and just overall the best fighting dinos in the game. This is my personal list. If you agree or disagree, let me know down in the comments what y'all's top five is going to be. Without further ado, let's go and get started with number five. Starting off with number five, we got the Amargosaurus. Now this guy is going to set you back 50,000 DNA. It has 2,310 HP, which is the highest on this top five list and the third highest in the game. It has 270 attack, 15 defense, 11 speed when it's walking, 18 speed when it's running, 30 stamina, and 9 bleed. You already know I really like sauropods, so you know I've always liked the Amargosaurus. It's a pretty good face tanker. i say it's probably top 5, not the best. It also has decent range, and with that bleed, you actually gotta fight it smart. You know, it ain't like the Dinosuchus, you just keep hitting it, bleed it out. The Amargosaurus has 9 bleed itself, so it can do a lot of bleed to you too if you don't watch out. But yeah man, Amargosaurus overall a pretty good pick. Uh, pretty easy to use, not too hard to use, and yeah man. That's our number five spot. Coming in number four, we have the Prototype Rex. This guy's gonna set you back 50,000 for buying just the Rex. You have to own the Rex before you get the Prototype Rex. To get the Rex, you actually have to buy a Prototype Loot Box. Each one of these Loot Boxes costs 3,500, and the chance to get a Proto Rex is one in 200. So you can spend anywhere from 53,500 to over 750,000 plus DNA. I did get mine on the 17th try, so you know I got pretty lucky. Um, but depending on how lucky you are, it really depends on how much it's going to set you back. But also if you have any event skin, the Prototype Rex pretty much trades for any event skin. You know, you can even trade Ophi Rose before I've seen people do that. So yeah, man, you just need an event skin or be lucky and you can get it. Now this thing has 2,250 HP, so pretty good HP. It only has 240 attack, but I promise you it makes up for that. It has 20 defense, 10 walking speed, 16 running speed, which is the slowest on this top 5 list and the second slowest in the game. It has 50 stamina and 4 bleed. Now the prototype race, when you look at the stats, you're like, okay, this thing don't look that good. But let me tell you, this thing is crazy. It has the best range in the game, by far. If you get somebody tanky sitting in front of you and you're just flipping that tail, flicking that tail, you do a ton of damage. Once you once you master the tail flick on it, it's nearly unstoppable. Really great dino. Um, I do think there are better options, though, because it can be countered. If you know how to play against it, it can be countered pretty easily. But yeah, man, it's still you know a great pick for wars, all that. It's always going to be a pretty reliable pick. Coming in at number three, we got one of my favorites, the Triceratops. This guy's gonna set you back 50,000 DNA, has 1,950 HP, 270 attack, 30 defense, 11 speed walking, 18 speed running, 50 stamina, and 10 bleed. In my opinion, the Triceratops was the face tank king until our number one got added, so y'all already have an idea what number one's gonna be. But yeah, it's still really good at face tanking, really strong. That 10 bleed is nice too, really comes in handy. There's not much Apex that has more bleed than that. I think only the Spino really has more than that 10 bleed. But yeah, man, I, I love it a lot. I got golden skin on Trike, and it's just fun to play with. I really like the Triceratops. I like it's in a good spot. Some people thought it was overpowered. You know, I think it wasn't. I think it's in a good spot for what it is. It should be the strongest herbivore. It is a Triceratops. But yeah, man, I think it's overall in a really good spot and a really good pick. Coming in our runner up number two, none other than the Spinosaurus. This guy's gonna set you back 50,000 DNA, has 2,201 HP, 180 attack, which is actually the lowest on the top five list. It has 20 defense, 12 speed walking, 20 speed running, 40 stamina, and has 15 bleed, which is the highest in the list and the third highest in the game. Now that last stat right there, that 15 bleed, that's what makes Spino number two. It is insane. If you hit your bleed, just get out, you know, just wait for the person to bleed out. Spino is really strong. In my opinion, it's still, it can beat number one in a one-on-one -on -one situation if you know how to use it. You know, more than likely number one's going to beat you, but still, man, Spino is really crazy. I think Spino could be nerfed. I don't think it needs to be a big nerf. I think take that 2,200 HP to either 2,000 or 2,050. Don't got to be a big nerf, but that'll actually change a lot on it. 
Um, and yeah, man, it's great in wars. Not really good face tanking. You don't want to face tank with the Spino. Pretty much every other thing on this list will be the Spino just straight up face tank. That's not what it's for. It's for hitting, go in the water, get away, let the person bleed out. And yeah, playing smart. Spino is really good though. Really good pick. Really solid. Number two. And now for number one. Y'all already knew what it was going to be. Got the newly added Aggressor. So to obtain the Aggressor, you have to have Aggressor Heart. To get this, you would have to do the Hard Mode Boss Ultima Rex during the event. I think today is going to be the last day. I know it closes tomorrow, which would be Sunday. Um, if you've seen this video after it was posted, it most likely won't be out anymore. So yeah, but if you do see this video when it drops and you don't have it, you need to go run some Hard Bosses get that Aggressor Heart. Once you have that, you will unlock and be able to buy it, which will set you back 250,000 DNA and 5,000 souls. It may come back in the store. I do not know. Don't have the info for y'all. I apologize. This thing has 1,920 HP, 300 attack, which is the highest on this list, second highest in the game, 45 defense, which is the highest on this list, second highest in the game, 12 speed walking, 20 speed running, 50 stamina, and 8 bleed. All I really have to do is just read y'all those stats. Don't really have to say anything, but I guess I will. You know, make the video a little longer. But man, Aggressor really strong. New face tank king, new dino king. I mean, there's not much can do about it. Uh, but I mean, it costs a lot. You know, it's it, it is limited. I don't know if it's going to be tradable or not. If it is, it'll definitely be worth a lot. And yeah, I mean, you've seen Aggressor. You know, you gotta either have an Aggressor or have a plan or have a buddy. You know, and it may, you might need one or two buddies depending on what dinos y'all got. Aggressor is really strong. Pretty much beats anything in a one-on-one. -on -one. Spino has a chance. Spino does have a chance if you know Spino player is better than the aggressor player. But more than likely, the aggressor is going to win. Yeah, that's our number one spot. That's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this top five list. I might come out with another top five list in the future, but as of January 2024, this is my top five strongest PvP dinosaurs in Land of Lizards 2. Y'all make sure to join my Discord down below. I will be hosting tournaments soon. So yeah, man, join that. And thank y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all of that. See y'all next time. Peace.